Stepin! William, I'm out of breath! I don't blame you. You have just run to my house because Bulgaria has finally revealed their Eurovision 2016 song from Polly Genova, and it is called If Love Was a Crime. Are you ready to listen and review? Let's do this! Sophia revisited. She's going to the final. To the final. Straight up. It feels Bulgarian, and yet it seems like produced by Swedes. And 2016. Yeah. <laughs> it's ethnic, but not off putting. I think you're a lot doing that chorus. Yeah, but it's totally poly Genova. <laughs> Oh my god, Devin, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. This is Bulgaria's best song at Eurovision ever. Ever. I thought we liked Sofia Marinova. Yeah, she was good, but that was good in a very niche way. This is good in a more mass market way. It's going to appeal to more people outside of the region. This builds bridges all across Europe. Absolutely. I can hear this on UK radio. I must admit, though, the chorus for me is a little bit of a letdown. I don't like that. Na -ni -nu -na, na -ni -nu -na. Uh. The pre-chorus is the best. I mean, like, <laughs> the pre chorus is amazing, but I think that that chorus serves a purpose. It's very ethnic. She wanted to keep this Bulgarian and not just make it a generic pop song, and so that's why it's working for me. I think when you see this on the stage, you will feel something in that chorus because she's gonna have some funky dancing. She's gonna have something to show that Bulgarian realness. And if we ever run a poll, best returnee oh. slays the pack because this is how you return to the contest you make people feel they've missed you because i think a lot of people expected her to do the same thing she did in 2011 but she has upped the game this is a slightly new sound for eurovision fans anyway from polly i love it i think that she's proving that you don't rest on your laurels you just keep working you keep slaying and she's also proving that, you know, your country does not define you. So she hasn't no. gone for a typical Bulgarian sound. She's building bridges, but still remaining Bulgarian. And it's so hard to do that, to remain true to who you are, but also have an eye on where you want to go and what you want to do. I think her ambitions are outside of Bulgaria. She's such a big star, she can succeed there, but also conquer the region, if not the world. And I like to say that our friendship is back on track. Yeah. That summon was just so unkind, but I can <laughs> tell it's totally worth it. I needed it. you to get here because we needed to listen, and I was dying to hear it, and I couldn't start until you got here, blah, blah, blah. Now, clearly this has some kind of pro-LGBT theme, if love were a crime. Well, of course, love is a crime in many countries, but Polly Genova, Genova, however you say it, she is a warrior. She is fighting for everyone. She wants you to know that you are loved and that you should be loved. I think this song is stunning. And I think it's a topical conversation that still is relevant for many parts of Europe, as you rightly pointed out, but also in a very non-predictable way, so it can apply to many themes and many situations without being obviously LGBT, not that that is a bad thing, yeah. but it needs to minister to a broader cross-section of people. She's a smart woman. She is a smart woman. She is getting her point across, but she's not offending people along the way. That's how you build bridges. Could that take us to Sofia, do you think? It's so hard to know. I think Bulgaria often struggles with the votes. Um, you know, they've been borderline qualifiers. She herself was a borderline qualifier. She almost made it, but came up just that short. This Luckily, is dead certain. She's, made, oh, you know, she's in the final of this And song. you know why? Not only is this Bulgaria's best song, in my opinion, this is also in a weak semi-final. Semi-final two? I'm sorry, she's got this in the bag. If she doesn't make the final, then Bulgaria should withdraw from Eurovision because something is wrong. This deserves to be in the final. It does deserve to be in the final. I disagree slightly about a semi-final two. I think a lot of songs in semi-final two give you know, countless staging opportunities, uh, whereas in semi-final one, the interpretation is is more obvious. All well, the interpretations are more obvious in semi-final one. What, what do you think the reactions will be? Like, 
Do you know the reaction from Bulgaria so far? Well, it's been two minutes since the song was released, so no. I think that Bulgarians will love this because they love Polly and they're going to respect her for it, as we said. Presenting something Bulgarian, that's also mainstream. Absolutely. You know what, Devin? The song is called If Love Was a Crime. Well, arrest me, lock me up, throw me in jail without the key because I am in love with this song. What about you? Do you like Polly's song? Are you a criminal? Let us know here on Weebie Blog. Oh my god, and while you're at it, like and subscribe to our channel. I would be so appreciative. We would like all of it. Uh, make that we. Oh, sorry. So appreciative. <laughs> See you later. Bye!